Yona Mora stepped from the helm, slipped her hand into Antony Hardgrave's and bowed as well. She appeared human before her pointed ears, which were lined with small silver hoops, and her inner lobes were golden ones larger than her husband's. Her skin was as dark as ash, her eyes the color of lavender. The hair on her head was silver and cut close to her scalp. She was dressed similarly to her husband, including the weaponry. Except rather than a red sash, she donned a red corset and her shift ended at her shoulders, revealing arms and throat which were covered in iridescent tattoos. A strange chain graced her neck, metal beads held together by a thread of subtle green light. But no pendant lay upon her chest, instead was a clockwork scorpion, whose stinger and pinchers glinted with danger. One pincher held the stinger, the strange chain being its tail.